Hi, this is Chief Cunningham. And for the last couple of weeks, Officer Bean has been sharing grit videos with your children. But this week's video is going to be a little bit different. We want to gear this one towards parents. And the reason we wanted to gear it towards parents is we want to discuss how important it is for parents to check the usage of their child's social media accounts. This is always a difficult thing to deal with as a parent, and I've dealt with it as a parent myself. But it, I can't tell you how important it is for you to understand what your child is doing with the phone and what they're doing with their social media accounts. And what we'd like you to do is sit down with your child on a regular basis, once a week, not at the exact same time, but sit down, ask for their phone, and start discussing what apps they use and why they use them. This is the best way to determine if your child is using their phone and social media appropriately. So we've had situations where it's gone uh, too far, and those are the situations that are kind of sad because you can't retract what you put out there in social media. And if the police are looking at your child's phone, it's too late. So please uh, follow the, the advice that Officer Bean gives you regarding social media usage. Thank you. Hey everybody, Officer Jeff Bean with the Woodridge Police here again with another informational video for you. Today's topic is going to be online safety. We're going to give some tips to parents as well as kids as to how to keep your child safe when they're online. Whether it's online gaming, social media, or just surfing the internet, we think some of these tips will be helpful. Especially during this time of the pandemic when kids are probably online more often than they normally would be. So first things first, we'll start with the kids. In the GRIT program, we teach internet safety starting as young as third grade and we work all the way up through digital citizenship in sixth grade. So some of the topics may be refreshers for the kids because they've already heard them, but it's good to repeat these. Kids, number one, be sure your parents know what you are doing online, okay? Just like if you're going to leave the house to go play with your friends and mom and dad want to know where you're going to be and what time you're going to be home, the same applies to social media and the apps and the sites you visit. Keep your parents in the loop. Next, use privacy settings. If you do have social media, make sure your pages are set to private and you're limiting the amount of personal information you're sharing on there. You don't need to use your real name or your real photo for things like that. So be sure the privacy settings are on. It's not a difficult thing to do and it will allow you to control who is visiting your apps and your sites. Next one, don't interact with strangers. I know we know this in real life, but sometimes it's harder for kids to understand that when you're online because you feel safe, you're at home, you're on your phone. The stranger isn't face to face with you, but they still are strangers. So when you're online gaming, when you're playing Fortnite or things like that, you can turn off the chat. You don't have to communicate with them. Just play the game. The less information you're sharing with these people that you do not know, the safer you're going to be. Please be a good digital citizen. Okay, that means being responsible when you're online, making good choices about the things you post and the things you say and the sites you visit. These are all really important because things can come back to haunt you. Bottom line with all this is please think, really think before you hit the send button. Is it appropriate? Is it funny? Does it have a purpose? How I tell my own kids is if you can show it to me and mom or you can show it to grandma and it's appropriate, then it's appropriate for everybody else. But if you don't feel comfortable showing that post or that picture to mom or grandma or dad, probably don't want to post it. Let's move on to the parents now. We have to deal with it too. This is a brand new world we're parenting in and it's a lot more difficult for us. Having kids on my own, I'm experiencing it myself. So first thing you have to do when it comes to social media and internet use by your child is make sure they're ready. There's no specific age to when to allow them onto social media or find some of these apps and these games. That's completely up to you. You know your child, not me. Set rules and enforce them. So once you let them on the digital world, you gotta have some guidelines for them. Set the boundaries, the time limits, the apps they're allowed to have, the ones they're not allowed to have, and most importantly, enforce these rules. Parents, you need to get familiar with the apps and the sites your kids are visiting. You don't have to be friends with them online, but you do have to be familiar with the things they're doing on there, so that way if they do run into trouble, you can offer them some help and support. I suggest we all regularly monitor our children's phone activity. Check the sites they're going to, read their text messages, see the apps they have. Be very active in that regard. The more you monitor and regulate it, the safer your child's going to be, and that leads to communication. This is very important, mom and dad. It's not my way or the highway when it comes to this. Please have open communication with your child about these topics. 
sit down and read through them their posts. Sit down and let them show you some of their TikTok videos or the things they're posting on Snapchat. A lot of it's really creative and fun and cool, and it'll show your child you're interested in what they're interested in, and they'll know they can come talk to you if and when they do run into trouble on there. So hopefully these tips will provide a little more sanity and clarification for the parents and some good guidance for the kids. Please be safe, stay healthy, and I look forward to our next video. Thank you.